St. Patrick's Day parties and thousands of students on spring break. The combination is keeping Bay Area law enforcement on high alert. They're watching out for people who drink and drive. In St. Petersburg, police are teaming up in what they call wolf packs, prowling for impaired drivers. They want to catch them and put them in jail before they hurt anyone. Peter Bernard is on the night beat in St. Petersburg. He joins us live from a St. Patrick's Day party downtown. It's going to be a long night across the Bay Area, Peter. I think it is a long night and into the morning as well. The party started early out here, and right now you can see behind me, it is still going strong. St. Patrick's Day and thousands of students off for spring break means cops are on the lookout for drunks on the road. Happy St. Patty's Day! Woo! It's a St. Patty's Day tradition. Music, food, and a party with plenty of booze. But the sad fact is, too many people ignore all the warnings and drive drunk. Julia Jefferson isn't taking any chances. So what are you doing to make sure that you get home okay? Uh, I'm calling an Uber. On Friday in Tampa, the driver of this red Mustang died in what investigators suspect is an alcohol-related crash. Thursday night, this woman ran into the back of a Sarasota County Sheriff Patrol car. She got a DUI. And this week in Clearwater, this teen died in what FHP investigators tell us is yet another crash where a drunk driver is blamed. Uh, it's definitely, it, it um, injures people, it takes lives away, and it's irresponsible. There are some indicators of impairment that you can observe. When St. Petersburg DUI squad member Officer Leonard Cox has heard the excuses. Generally, I've had a few beers, um, or I'm the designated driver, or I've had nothing to drink at all um, but it becomes kind of obvious officer Cox tells me avoiding this is easy uh, the big thing for us is that people make a plan and they have a plan before they leave their house uh, so that this kind of thing doesn't happen at this block party at Corrigan's Irish pub servers are on guard for customers who've had too much and here we work as a team so if we spot somebody before somebody else does we let them know about it we definitely want to make sure that everybody gets home safely at the end of the day and out here around St. Petersburg, the Wolf Packs are being staffed by St. Petersburg Police and the FHP. They're going to be out here tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Keith? Well, Peter, why use the Wolf Packs instead of the, uh, what are the, the checkpoints? That's pretty standard. Yeah, we've seen that before. Officer Cox tells me this is more effective. They can actually make contact with more people and actually make contacts with potentially more drunks that are going in any direction. Yeah. Peter Bernard on the night beat. Thank you. Well,